While in Siem Reap, Cambodia, we stayed at the Amansara. Aman meaning peace, and Apsara, the heavenly nymphs of ancient Hindu mythology. Our once-in-a-lifetime experience began the minute we were greeted by our chauffeur, complete with white gloves holding the door of a 1960s Mercedes limousine, formerly owned by Kim Sihanouk. Relaxing against the leather seats and refreshed with ice water and an ice cloth with the smell of lemongrass, while we enjoyed our journey to the amazing Amansara Resort, the former guest house of the king. With the ambience of a private home and a staff that greets you every time like a long lost friend. We were immediately shown to our room where we were able to relax while we were checked in. We were given our own personalized itinerary while we enjoyed freshly squeezed lime juice and steaming spring rolls, the best I have ever had. The open plan is more oriented for couples in romance, a little awkward if traveling with friends, but I was able to relax and enjoy the lotus flowered filled tub in privacy while Gina enjoyed her hour long rain shower. A variety of Cambodian temple excursions is part of your guest experience. So after an early morning wake-up call and a continental breakfast, we were ready to begin our day. With the very best guides, and ours was the very first and best in Siem Reap, he picked us up in a 1960s Jeep Jimmy. We began at the south gate of Angkor Thom, meaning the great city. Crossing the moat, you see the balustrade, which on the right, you see the demon guards. On the left, you see the gods. Our next stop, the amazing Banyan, located in the center of Angkor Thom, complete with 54 towers, each with four smiling faces and amazing bas reliefs. The Bethuen Temple was recently restored and was originally the state temple. Some people describe it as the world's largest three-dimensional puzzle. Walking through the jungle, you'll enter the southern gateway to the entrance of the royal palace and baths and the Feminiacus Temple in the middle, once known as the Golden Tower. Exiting out, you'll come to the Elephant Terrace, 300 meters long, adorned with elephants, once the viewing platform for royalty. With our morning tour complete, we then headed to the Amansara's traditional Khmer village home for a traditional Khmer breakfast. Starting with Khmer sweets, my favorite, the Nam Korng, which is a donut sprinkled with palm sugar. Also a coconut lentil donut and a steamed banana cake. They also served skewers of fresh fruit and also make sure to try the traditional Nam Ben Chok, a noodle soup. With a few hours before your afternoon tour, you have plenty of time to try the resort's main swimming pool or at the other end of the suites, their lap pool lays hidden behind a privacy wall. Or enjoy afternoon tea or cocktails in their lounge. Our afternoon tour was a journey through the jungle, so this time we were picked up in a remorque. Our first destination, Tanay, located down a sandy road in the jungle. A little hard to get to, so it is rarely visited. It was so hot and humid that at times all you thought about was being back in your air-conditioned room, but when you returned back to the vehicle, you were always met with an ice-cold water and an ice-cold towel. So, refreshed and ready for our next stop. Kale. This temple is described as being the epitome of the Temple Mountain. Five levels and a very steep climb which forces you to prostrate 
yourself, showing respect to the gods. At the top, you will receive a souvenir of heaven. A monk will tie a piece of red yarn on your wrist while chanting a blessing. Here at the top, it really does feel like heaven. You will then cross the street, coming to the chapel of the hospital. The guides will take and show you things that most people don't get to see, like the fifth gate of Angkor Thom. It was amazing. Just through the Victory Gate, a little bit of a hike, but another truly spectacular gem. Returning back to our room, we found our bathrobe laid out with a bath of lotus flowers. Definitely another wow factor. An elegant but casual dining experience where you can enjoy both Khmer and Western cuisine. The Amasar Spa is definitely a must. We experienced one of the most amazing massages ever. Their library and another wow factor was their nightly turndown service with fun little gifts every night. And they even surprised me on my birthday with a cake and a blessing from a monk. Then when we were ready to leave with the King's Limousine ready, the whole staff met us to say goodbye, waving at us until they were no longer in sight. Thank you for joining me on my royal tour of the Amansara Siem Reap and for more must-see destinations, please subscribe.